Travis Kahn. Cody standing by with two very special guests and a third. And a third. Hey, it's old Ben. Ben's here all the time. Ben's all the time. Ben, how many years now? This is, this is our fourth year of doing this, and it's bigger than it's ever been this year. That is awesome. Yeah, we've that got is awesome. Writers, artists, sculptors, painters, everything this year. Excellent, excellent. Somebody. One of these two has been there the entire time. Please introduce yourself to the folks at home. Hello, my name is Sarah Renee Kraft, and I'm an artist and illustrator. Awesome. And I'm Christine Baylog, and I am an artist and author and history professor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of everything. Yeah, yeah, we, could, we couldn't put that on the little super down at the bar right there. It's very impressive. Very impressive. Uh, we had the commercial break, we were just discussing about this. Uh, growing up, were there a lot of uh, female comic book artists to look to? No, and... not at all. Mm -hmm. Especially in upstate New York, which is where I'm from, uh, a little tiny town, not even on the map. And my hero was Superman. That's who I looked to. And I was looking to Jim Lee as my favorite. And right, I still right. look to him. And he brought this quality to the art and now there's so many women breaking into these comic books it's just it's such an exciting time for all of us and, and the fact that we we do have women that are in charge of it yes. and drawing these stories does this make a big difference Sarah but with the, as far as the storytelling and, absolutely, and where we're going? absolutely I think that the more diversity we have in storytellers the more diversity we're gonna see in the types of stories being told and then we'll be able to reach more audiences and we'll be able to resonate with more kids and really empower a whole variety of children, both boys, girls, and everyone. Right, right. With our stories, and it's it, some of the, the comics that are coming out now because it does have an influence from women are spectacular. Yes. Spectacular. I mean, we are in a great spot right now. I mean, just culture is caught up with pop culture, and uh, we're seeing all this stuff. Now, you brought some of your artwork. Yes. Uh, let's start with you, Sarah. These things are. I want to just like go into your brain for a oh, bit, thank man. You. These are beautiful. <laughs> thank you. Uh, what is what is the the idea? What are you what are you thinking here? Well, as as a an artist, I really approach my art from almost a literary standpoint. I'm also a writer, and I used to write so much in high school, my parents almost had to ground me for it because I had trouble <laughs> focusing on my homework. Uh, when I draw, I kind of go into space in my brain, and I see illustrations, and I see dialogue, and I see characters, and I'm working with a lot of the symbols that mean something to me, trying to figure out what they mean. So birds, and flowers, and masks, and ribbons, and all that dialogue just comes forward even in an art book I'm working on right now. Oh, cool, cool. And so. I feel like these are like writing prompts. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like just looking at this photo right here, I want to start writing right now and trying to figure out what's going on with that. That is, that is beautiful. Definitely. Let's start about some of the work that you brought us. Uh, of course, you brought my uh, my cousin, Tony yes. Stark here. Love <laughs> him. Love him. Uh, yeah, so this is actually oil on linen. Um, I'm first and foremost an oil painter. My grandmother taught me when I was three. Oh, cool. And I can't stop. It's my addiction. So this is what I do for a hobby. Uh -huh. And then my comic books and and this is my brand new adult coloring book I'm releasing today. Nice. Um, these are actually historical. So Caravaggio is a 16th, 17th century painter. Uh -huh. He is the father of the Baroque, pretty much transformed the entire face of Western art as we know it. And his story, just his life historically, is a screenplay in and oh, of itself. Cool. So I created, I took my love of academics and research and my love of art and comic books and made a historical comic book. Nice. I'm also working on my novel about him, of course. Uh -huh. And then <laughs> adult coloring book for all those people who want to be able to draw like that but can't, now you can color it. I, I love the adult comic They're book. They're so great. Coloring book movement. I think it's oh fantastic. Oh my gosh, they're so fun. fun. They are fun. So fun. I love it. Um, uh, okay, this is fascinating. When your book's done, come back. I, I will, want, I want definitely. To, I hope you plug that because that sounds awesome, great. Awesome, thank you. Uh, both of you will be out there today along yes. with other creators uh, will be out there today at the uh, Creative Women's Fest. If you haven't been there, Creative Women's Con, if you haven't been, I don't know what you're waiting on, you need to go to Empire Comics and check it out. And I think it's what's fascinating too is like watching you two converse. Uh, <laughs> I feel like every year that this happens and more women are together and stuff, the conversations and the creativity, I can't wait to see what comes out of this. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Definitely. Like five years from now, I got to feel there's going to be an explosion in creativity absolutely. here in Sacramento. Good to see you both of you. Yes, thank you very thank much. You so much. Thank you. All right, back to you, Mel. All right, thanks, Code. Cal Expo is transferring.